Good evening and welcome back once again. Thank you for joining. We're back playing PGA Tour 2K23, but I have got a little bit of a confession. We're actually recording this intro after I've already played the round and recorded everything. What happened was is I played the round and then myself and the creator noticed a couple of things that needed to be changed with the course, which he's now done, but it meant that the course's names actually changed. So the creator is the Pro Spartan Gamer. If you've been watching my videos, the first video I did on 2K23 was of his first created course on this game. Really enjoyed it and he liked, seemed to like me doing it as well. So I've been speaking to him on and off and he did say that he was looking to create a new course. So we sort of got the idea together that he would create the course and then I would have a playthrough like I did the first time and record it. With the added bonus that on PC, which is what I played on, is you can actually use different cameras than you can on the console. Myself and Owen, who's the pro spot on gamer, thought it was a good idea that what we could do is do flybys on each hole. You could see the course in its sort of full glory, and then after the flyby, then I'll play the hole. But yeah, a couple of the tweaks that were made, one of the fairways for some reason was shown as rough instead of a fairway, and there was a par three, that was actually saying it was a par four. Most importantly, the name of the course is the River of Leonoris. Throughout the video, because that was already recorded, you might hear me referring it to River of Leonoris. And at the summary at the end, I may refer to it as River of Leonoris. And you'll see a summary screen with obviously the slightly different name of the course. Obviously, I don't want to give too much away, but it's a fantastic course, really, really worth playing. And a Big shout out and a thanks to the Pro Spot and Gamer. I'll leave his details down below in the description, so his YouTube channel and his Twitter page. But I would appreciate you leaving some comments below, maybe hitting a like if you do enjoy the video, and go over and check the Pro Spot and Gamer's YouTube channel as well. So I think we'll just jump right into it, and I'll meet you on the first tee. So that was the first flyby on the very first hole, par 4, looks like a dog leg left, um, beautiful course. Yeah it's interesting, so fairly straightforward in terms of you've got a, this fairway but you've got a, a bunker right here and the wind is pretty strong so you don't want to overrun it and go in the bunker. You might, oh, there's a nicely placed bunker is here as well. I might actually drop a club and sort of play it over there. See how we get on. Just don't want it to be bunker bound. That looks good. Yep, nice bounce. Big tree in the way. This is going to play 154 at 142. So I'm probably going to draw this around a bit. Bit of loft on. Just wonder if we'll be able to get any uh, more hole in ones. I doubt it, but we'll see. Now the wind's really taken that. So I'm just off the edge of the green there. So just in the light rough, so not too bad. Yeah, as usual, what I normally do is I put about sort of half loft on a chip. Good effort, not too far past. You want to give it a chance to go in. Um, obviously not taking too much of a risk. 
and a nice par on the first. And that was the flyby on the second. Um, par three. One thing I did notice is if we can get it, there's a car on a rock here. So is this like one of those competitions where you can, you know, if you get a home one, you win like a sports car? If it is, I'm definitely going for this. Although, saying that, it's a long par 3. This will be about... So, 206. It's probably going to play about... 187. But then the wind... Probably about 198. Oh, this is a small green to aim for. Let's go for it. I'll just be happy to not be wet on here. That's a decent, is it? Is that a decent shot? I think it is. Ooh, just. Stay, yep, stayed on the green. I'll take that. Nice undulating green here. Probably going to aim about here. massively to the left but then back right again no never really going to get that very close so you just want to make sure that you can two put it fingers crossed and we can so I would say safe but not spectacular start from my point of view but from the course absolutely love it love that um, that little <laughs> that little extra with the car on, on the island there Okay, so an interesting looking par 5. So if we have a look here, I don't know if there's any way we can go for this green in 2. I mean, even if you hit it 350, you still got over 300, well, nearly 300 yards. So we can play it safe somewhere between these two bunkers and then lay up over here. This is a long par 5. 656 yards, wow. So, yeah, I think we'll play it as is here. Let's just hope we don't get anywhere near those bunkers. So it did kick right a little bit, but we're safe. Now, we want to play it safe, but the further right we go, the further this second shot's going to be. So... If we play about here, I want to try and play it in between these two bunkers, ideally. Probably about here. And with the wind going left, hopefully it should turn it a little bit, but not too much. I didn't check my slope. I must have been on a down slope there, because it stayed pretty much straight. But that's, that's about spot on. You can see we've still got 230 yards to the pin. Green-wise, it looks... Fairly forgiving. You've got these down slopes towards the pin, which I think's right on a you know if it's a really long par five. I think we're actually going to play this with a four iron, maybe try and hit it a little bit extra. The wind should carry and it should roll. 
Yep. That's good. Slow down. Oh. Now that was a shot. I mean, it's rolled a little bit past, but wouldn't that have been a fantastic call out if I got that? I like how the greens are a little bit tricky though. They're a little bit more undulating than the, the last one, I think. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Oh, I turned up a little bit more than what I thought. And it's rolled a little bit past, but we should get a par on this. And we do. Now that was a really different par five. I haven't seen really a par five like that where even the third shot, you've still got a distance to go. So that was really interesting. Well, that was a beautiful fly over there. Um, I really like the addition of the little houses in the background. And if you look, I don't know if I can see it, but some horses going on. So that must be like a like a farm, like farm houses maybe, but there's some sports cars there as well. So lovely waterfall. I mean, this is really dangerous. Um, and with the wind as well, we've got the, the gallery down on the left and the right there. Um, so yeah, this is a really tricky par three. Love it. Love that waterfall. So in terms of this, um, it's down 77, so that's about 135, and then with the wind about 125, we'll say about between 125 and 30 really I need to hit it. I mean that just doesn't look like it's going to make it does it, but I've got to trust my yardage. Here we go. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Very nice. Not a hole in one. I was thinking for a second, but five foot from the hole. And you put it in. Can't say no to that. Lovely par three. I think that's my favorite hole so far. Well, this is a very interesting par four. It looks pretty long. Yeah, 519 yards. And when you get down here, it's a lovely drop, but it almost looks like a... Not exactly like a Babylon's have got... Um, Garden of Babylon, even. I didn't get my words out. But that sort of thing. Oh, I didn't notice the waterfall as well. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's waterfalls surrounding each side. Got these lovely trees. I mean, this is going to be a very difficult shot not to hit any of the hazards. And with the wind as well. Probably going to play a bit of jaw just so it doesn't turn too much. But I am relying a little bit on luck, but that looks... No, that looks decent. That looks decent. Yeah, took a bit of a hop to the left, but that's pretty much spot on. So, got 170 yards. I am on a bit of a slope here, so I am going to need to aim it. And then you've got the wind as well, so... Probably quite far, really. That's a tricky one, this. I'm sure I've said that on every hole, but that's a good thing. It's challenging. Stop, 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 stop. Well, that looked like, um, yeah, you don't want to end up down here. <laughs> Look down there, it's just death down there. Again, a nice chance to show, show chip and skills. I'm going to put a tiny bit of spin on this time. See if we can get it close. 
Oop, miss hit that a little bit. Looks good though. Stop. Yep, yeah, that's alright. And another par. So we're only one under through five. I like how it's uh, it's very challenging, it's very difficult um, and different. But there's a balance, you know, you don't want it too difficult. And I think this is, it's certainly not that, it's not frustrating. But it's definitely challenging and it makes you think about your shots. So, a very interesting par 4. It's going to be a long shot into the green, I believe. So, if we lay up about here, so ideally we want a 4 in at about 209. We do want to get quite close to these bunkers. Um, certainly not too close. So, let's play it around about here. Let's hope we'll get a bit of luck. Or just not have any bad luck. Want it to kick massively either way. No, that's fine. That should be about spot on. I'm in the rough. Oh, okay. So oh, this is gonna be tricky. Go, go, go. Nope, gonna be in the rough. Or are we? Oof, God just held on there. Now I think we'll play a flop shot here. Do you want it to stop quickly? Oh, look at that. That was absolutely perfect. It's hard to judge the flop shot because the spin, you're coming out of the rough, you don't get as much spin, but if you were coming off a fairway, you can spin quite considerably backwards. So again, a really interesting looking par 3. I think what Owen seems to be doing on the par 3s is making them very different, which is quite hard to do, but this one's got a lot of elevation. Quite close, but you're going to have to add quite a bit on. I mean, if it's up 55, that's going to be, what, about 80 or 19 you've got to add on. So if you're looking about 160, but the wind's helping, so maybe about 150-ish. So I'll play it like this. It is sloping right or left. And left right here, so I am going to aim over here. If it does happen to catch the right side, should be okay as long as we get the distance right. That looks good. Stop. Ooh. Close again. Spin really took a hole there. Again, if you've got a par 3 and you land within 10 feet, pretty good going. Really nice hole there, and I think, depending on the wind, that can play very, very differently. So par four, dog leg left. Got a bit of luck because the wind is helping that way. 
Although, got a feeling these bunkers might. Yeah, these bunkers are coming coming into play massively. See if we can overpower this one a bit and just get past the bunkers. Good line. Good line. Keep bouncing. Bounce, bounce, bounce. There we go. Oh. Oof. Just made it. Really nicely placed bunkers there. So what we've got on the approach. Love this um, downhill green, but it's over sort of like a cliff edge. And you've got this beautiful sort of, what would you call it? Um, like a lake over here, like a lagoon. Any sort of like aqueducts maybe over here. So this one's playing at about, yeah, about 136, I would say. Now I'm not really on a slope. Should have aimed a bit further right. But good distance control. Chance for a birdie here. Now this one hasn't got too much movement. Slightly right to left if anything. That's being true. And it is. Nice. Just snuck in the left edge there. And we're on to the ninth. Bogey free so far. So now the same lagoon that we could see in the background, we're now heading over and... Par 4, um, it's down 48, so it's been about 235, 225 probably with the wind. Yeah, about there. Put a bit of loft on and a little bit of spin. Struck it perfectly. Oh, this looks good. We're safe. Just needs to hold up a little bit. Is it going to come back? Heading back. Not directly towards a hole, but it's coming back a bit. Nice. See, next time I play that, I'll probably be a little bit more aggressive and aim even shorter. But 17 footer. Bit of a break on it. I'm gonna say about a grid line maybe. Maybe that's over. I can break a little bit. Nice. Nice put. First eagle of the round. Love that. So we've got a par 5 this time. Massively downhill for the drive, and it's pretty dangerous. Now if you stay safe, yeah, you're going to have to lay up. If you do go for it, don't land in the rough. Yeah, you could, you could go for it in two. Ooh. Now the problem being is the wind is left to right this time, but let's go for it. Aim pretty much over here because of the wind. Let's hope I judge this right, otherwise it could be a massive trouble. Turn in, just stay left. Don't go anywhere near that slope. Now, obviously, putting that much drone will take a bit of distance off, but it's gone over 300 yards. 
pretty flattish line, a little bit downhill. Now I can go for this now. About 22 down, so that's about 230, 245 with the wind. Well, maybe about 240. We put plenty of loft on this, some spin. Put some draw on, which will take some of the um, distance off anyway. Oh god, this is going to be... This is going to be a difficult shot to hit because I'm putting lots of loft and draw and different things on, so it just makes the shot harder. Hitting the left side is not as bad though because there is sloping towards the hole. And drop a couple of yards off there. Right, I've hit it perfectly. It's just whether I've judged it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, just short. That extra couple of yards I took off, that was it. If I hadn't have done that, it would have been just on the green. No, oh, it's not plugged, it's fine. Yeah, we'll play a splash shot. Now we'll put lots of spin on. Not the best of views. Got a nice little hut over here, or house. Oh, that was a bad trick. I mean, it still went near the hole. Um, not bad, but if you looked at the swing there, that was terrible. So I got this for a birdie. So six under through ten, pretty good going. Really enjoyed that hole as well. So this time we've got a par five and it looks like we can, there's a, there's a small fairway and with a few bunkers so got to play a really decent shot here and then depending on where you land you might have a shot into the green but I doubt it, it's probably going to be a layup over here and then a short shot into the, the green but I wonder if you can use this one over here as well. So this fairway is massively downhill but the wind is certainly not helping So I think I'm going to play this as is. want to go near that bunker. It is heading a little bit right. That's okay. A bit of luck with the bounce. Now it's saying to lay up and yeah, I mean the hole's 274. I'm not going to go for that. Still not an easy shot to lay up though. We'll go four iron. Got a feeling I might head towards one of the bunkers, I don't know. Just made it over. And a relatively easy shot into here, so I'm actually yardage perfect. Ah, well, the wind. So I really need this about... Yeah, take about 8 yards off. Bit of spin. Nearly miss it. Maybe I did a little bit actually. Yeah, decent, decent shot. Hands for a birdie. I think it's going to play about two or three balls left of the, the hole. Nice putt. Putting's been pretty decent. And that's hole 11 already. Really enjoying this. So again, another very interesting looking par 3 over the water, relatively short par 3, but quite a challenging green, you've got two bunkers in very close proximity, 
and then if you get your yardage, yardage wrong, you've got bunkers front and back. Well, it's playing about 130. I think I'm going to have to add a club. Now, if that wind does turn, just when I'm about to take my shot to completely sideways, this is going to go too far. I'm going to aim sort of towards this bunker. Again, I nearly mishit it. Now, that's decent. That's decent. Bit too far, which is what I thought. Safe. And put wise, I think slightly right edge. Just because of that initial break. Just crept in there. Very nice. Three birdies in a row now. And so on to the unlucky 13th hole. Par 4, you've got the water to the left. And you've got three bunkers here. Now the wind is really not helping us in this case. So we might actually be lucky to make the fairway. Probably going to have to overpower this a little bit. Yeah, 103%. Oh, that's fine, that's easily made it. That's all I could do though, and we're going to be probably on a nasty slope. And now we've got 260 yards to the pin. Now it is downhill, so it's going to play at about 250. God. Wow, okay. So I'm on a slope as well. I'm going to aim over here. Overpower it a bit. This could be bunker bound, as long as it's not water bound. Go, go, go. It's going to make it. That's about as spot on as I could get it. Brilliant. Hey, that's a really, really difficult approach on a par 4. You could only just about make it with your 3 wood. Bit of a nasty downhill putt, sloping right or left. And take a bit of weight off just to make sure it doesn't go flying past. It makes the putt a little bit more difficult though. I think I've just under hit that, have I? Yeah. That was a really interesting one. I think that's maybe my favourite par four so far. I'm not sure I'd have to play the course again to, to judge that. So we've got another par 4 here, but I'm a bit curious because it's only 343 yards and it's downhill. And the wind's going right or left. Now it is slightly in our face, so this might not work, but could we potentially get on the green here? Now it might end up going in the rough or the bunker. And there is a lot of water around as well. I think we could make this, you know. So... Let's have a look. I am going to draw it in. And I think I'm going to aim about here. So if I draw it in there. I think we've got a chance here. Now it could go disastrously wrong as well. Swing it out wide. Oh no. This is going far too far left. Oh, could be water bound. Oh. What? Poor. Well that was lucky. Um. Yeah, totally didn't judge the wind there at all. Too aggressive, but got a nice bounce on the rocks. Thought I was going to be water bound. No, but you can definitely make it on one. That's really interesting. Well, assume the wind's 
not right in your face or anything like that. Heavy rough this time though, so gonna be a tricky shot. I think we'll go for the flop again. Now this is not gonna stop quickly out of the rough and it's gonna be hard to judge the distance. Good hit. Just roll right a bit. Nice. That's about spot on. Can't get better than that for a pop shot out of the rough. Nine under through 14, pretty good going. Now par three this time, I, d I do think par threes are probably my favorite in general, just because, well, it's kind of a love-hate thing, you know, some par threes are just so difficult and you're just happy to walk away with a par. I always think they're the most challenging, you know, par five, you've got quite a bit of leeway. Yes, you want to try and get an eagle if you can. You know, if you play it safe, you can pretty much guarantee you've, you should have a shot at a birdie. But par threes, I just really enjoy. And this is a longer par three. So I've seen quite a few short par threes. I like that he's putting a, a longer par three as well. So it's two or six. There's about two or four with the downhill. Wind is got some nasty crosswinds. Just a little bit on our face, so that is gonna pull it a bit shorter. So I think we are gonna have to go. Yeah, about two or nine. Put a bit of loft and spin on. It is pretty much left or right sideways. I think aim about here. Wish me luck. Still gone further right, even though he massively left. Distance control, just about spot on. Really nice par three. So I've got a 20 foot, sorry, 18 foot putt, slightly uphill. Left to right, does break a fair bit at the end, so I think I'm gonna play about half out. Nice. Very nice putt. Putting's been really good on this game. I think there was maybe one putt I've missed. So onto a par five on the 16th. And in terms of direct distance to the flag, it's not massive for a par five, about average probably, but I don't think there's any way we're gonna get it in two because if you look at the actual, where the fairway is positioned, yeah, you're gonna be aiming over here. And even if I hit it, you know, 300 yards, you still got 335. So this is clearly gonna be a layup. Play it fairly safe on here and make sure that we land in the fairway. But I'm going to aim, I'm going to put a bit of fade on just to counteract the wind a little bit. We want to land somewhere over here. Yeah, a little bit further left would have been nice. Again, we're just going to be laying up. Again, a little bit of fade. The wind will still take it right or left back into the fairway. Now, I think I was on a on a slope there and I couldn't see it. Oh, got a lucky bounce. And still got 180 yards left in, so it's, it is quite a long par five in the end, just the way the positions of the, the fairways are. This plays about 182, but then with the wind, I think I'll play it about 
175. Probably going to have to aim around about here. Line looks decent. Oh, I've had some good shots on this, on this course. It'll be interesting to see if I hit the flagstick, whether it would have dropped. Probably not, because it was going at quite a speed. This looks like it's not going to break much, but you can, sometimes this game lies to you. Just drop there. But 11 under through 16, really enjoyed that par 5. Even if you got near the end of the fairway, you probably still have to have about 160. So I was just saying earlier that I did like a long par 3 now and again. Yeah, well this one's definitely a long par 3. 255. Now it is downhill, but if you look at the wind, oh, this could be dangerous. So 255, 54 foot is 17 yards. It's probably playing at about 250. Which isn't bad actually, and if I add a little bit of loft, but not too much, because that wind will really take effect. And I think we'll aim around about Yeah, around about here. Now if it does land about here, it is taking it away from the hole a little bit. If this lands on the green, I'll be happy. I've hit it nicely. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. Very nice. Well judged. Tricky putt. Oh, just crept in again. What is going on with my purr today? And on the 18th now, the last hole, I'm actually kind of disappointed as the last hole, I'm really enjoying it. And I don't know, somehow I think I'm enjoying it more than Arenas of Sparta. It's hard to say because I love that course. But we've got a couple of ways you can go. So you can go straight forward route, go down here, then you've got a shot into the green. Can go a bit further left. Now it's a bit more risky with the bunkers. Now I think I'm going to go this way. I'm going to aim sort of towards the tree there. Should turn back in somewhere in the middle of the fairway. Could have been a little bit more aggressive. Got to try, try to get it near the edge there so you've got less yardage in the approach. But just a nice safe drive. Oh, but that's not a good lie. Down 27, which is 9. Now you've got a really, really nice two-tier green here. So potentially you could have a really nasty putt. You drop down here, which is quite easy to do. You've got a nasty putt. Other way, if you hit it too far and you end up over here, trying to hit a chip there and not roll it past down here is going to be a nightmare. But yeah, look at that. Looks absolutely lovely with the the waterfall in the, the sort of middle of the rock in the middle of the, the lake there. You've got the, the stands, everybody in anticipation for the, the winner on the 18th, this river running through. Absolutely stunning. So this is going to play about so 171 with the elevation, about 160. It's in between clubs. I think I'm going to play it about 162, but with lots of spin. Try and make sure we get over this ridge. I am on this massive downslope. 
just for the down slope, that's uh, that's really tricky. I think that'll do it. I think that should be good. That needs to get over that crescent, and it has a spin should take. Yes. Oh, that was well judged. And we've got a 13 footer. Finish the course. It's mainly right left, then it turns right a bit at the end. I think just short of a grid line. Oh, I just went past. Uh oh. Well, that's made this one a little bit difficult. Oh, just crept in. Just crept in. What a lovely hole to finish. I think the 18th may not be my actual favourite, but to finish the course, that's a, a lovely hole to play on. And just looking at the stats there, fairways and regulation, 83%. Same with greens and regulation. Putts per hole was only 1.22. If we had have made that last putt on the 18th for the birdie, I think... Was that the only hole I two putted? I think it was. I think the rest I one putted. I'll have a quick look at the scorecard anyway. So yeah, really solid front nine, but that eagle really helped it there on the ninth there. And we're really consistent on the back nine. 29 on both, 58, 58 score. You can't really say anything bad about that.